Elementor v4 is coming, and it's going to change everything. If you've built even one website with Elementor, this update will affect you. When is it coming? Should you switch right now? And is it going to break your old sites? Let's talk about what's really going on. No hype, just my thoughts on the current situation and what's coming. What v4 actually is, and isn't. Okay, first, what is v4? This time it's not just a paint job like the update from sections to containers and flexbox felt like. It's a new foundation. CSS first, a class-based workflow, real variables for color and typography, cleaner HTML output, and a smarter editor that scales with your projects. To me, while trying the new editor, v4 already feels more like Framer or Webflow. I'll talk more about this later. Right now, we have the situation that Elementor is showing us the new editor in alpha mode and is still developing and fine-tuning in the background. So I get why a lot of people are a bit confused and don't know what are the next steps. The thing is, as today, v4 is still alpha. That means we can test it on staging websites, look at it, try it out, give feedback. But of course, no one has to switch, convert, or rebuild existing Elementor websites today. But you really should get familiar with the new editor. That's how you stay ahead. Why this matters, and why I care. I've been building client sites with Elementor for over five years. I also coach people on how to enjoy Elementor, not fight it. For the first time in a long while, I feel like those of us who stayed are getting rewarded. Not with shiny buttons, but with the fundamentals we've asked for. Variables we can define once and change everywhere. Classes we can reuse and actually manage. Cleaner HTML, fewer wrappers, less bloat, and visual tools that replace a bunch of CSS hacks. That's what saves hours, reduces bugs, and makes maintenance sane. The questions everyone has, and my honest answers. When is this actually rolling out? There's no exact public date for default. Elementor is moving v4 forward release by release. You'll see features appear in phases, and I think that's good, because this means less risk. Will it break my old sites? The whole reason v4 lives behind a switch is to avoid that. Keep old sites on v3. Experiment with v4 on a safe playground. That's the professional way to do it. Can I convert old builds to the new system? We don't know. I asked Elementor but didn't get an answer. So I also just have to guess. We don't have a full guaranteed one-click conversion yet. In previous relaunches, Elementor did offer migrations like when we had to switch from sections to containers and had to get used to working with Flexbox. And once you're ready to transition your website from sections and columns to containers, you can use a tool we've developed especially for that, the converter. So do it with ease in a single click. Back then, I had a lot of clients in my coaching that were left behind by Elementor's communication. At least that's what it felt like. Elementor was changing essential stuff that affects every website ever built with the page builder and then misses out on properly explaining how to maintain a website. At least that was my impression. Maybe that was also because here in Germany, a lot of people don't watch English-speaking tutorials on YouTube. That's why they didn't know where to look for answers. What was your experience back then? Let me know in the comments and we can discuss a little. But v4 is a deeper shift. And up till now, I feel like it's slower, better thought of, and we, the users, are already with them on the way. So my take, either there will be a convert button, or, and this is what I think will happen, we have to rebuild websites. Why do I think that? What I'm seeing is that Elementor switches the old widgets with the new atomic components. They can be styled with the new CSS classes and work differently. I also think that there will be less individual widgets in the future, and we mainly work with the main components. But here's the thing. I don't think you have to switch or rebuild old websites immediately as soon as the new editor releases as default. There has to be an option to keep old websites as is. If you are a web designer working for clients, this could also be a chance to get hired again, or to get another chance to be the first one to level up their website by offering them to upgrade their website safely to the new standards. But for now, I would recommend to just stay calm in the first place, grab a towel or an apple, and start watching update videos more frequently. And maybe even try the new editor yourself on a staging site, but please remember, don't activate v4 on real website projects yet. 
The bitter truth is, if you haven't switched an old columns and sections website to Flexbox yet, you will have problems with your website already, and it will be similar with this update. But let's see and wait what Elementor will offer. Maybe we get a simple convert button. But I don't know how this should work. I will tell you as soon as we get the news, so maybe subscribe now. That will also help my channel a lot to grow and to reach more people, and to maybe calm one or another Elementor user down. If you've ever been frustrated with Elementor's bloat or style confusion, V4 is aimed directly at those pain points. It's not just features, it's a real relaunch. So don't panic, prepare. Test it, learn it, and when it goes stable, you'll be a month ahead of everyone else. Thanks for watching. If this helped, hit subscribe. I'll keep tracking every V4 drop so you can focus on building your business. And if you want to activate Editor V4 now, watch this video where I walk you through the installation.